Oh, it's lost, 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 lost. Alto, alto, alto. Oh, look at that. A huge three-toed sloth just sleeping right there. Look at that. Despite their reputation for laziness, sloths spend more time awake than asleep. They are polyphasic, active for periods during both day and night. Oh, look, she's starting to climb. Climbing around the canopy in the dark is risky. One wrong move could mean a fatal fall. For Bryson, it's a chance to witness some of the sloth's special adaptations. She's smelling the branch before she crawls on it. They never will crawl on a dead branch, because if they do, they'll fall out of the tree. They've got an amazing sense of smell. Sloths can detect a dangerously weak and rotten branch in the darkness by smell alone. To help them move around the canopy at night, they also create a mind map of trees. They have an amazing memory of the canopy connections, so she probably knows exactly where she's going. This sloth actually is low enough that I think I can get a closer look at it. It's just on the other side of these vines. Right up there. Sloths spend most of their lives high up in the canopy. Finding one so low in the tree is rare. Bryson has studied them for many years. This is a great opportunity to examine one. Whew. Hey. Wow. Wow, she is beautiful. Look at her. <laughs> She's absolutely gorgeous. Hey. So I've been working with sloths for 10 years now. And this doesn't really stress them out at all. They're pretty comfortable with it. They're so strange looking when you see them up close. They are also surprisingly comfortable with the insects in their fur. Sloths actually have a special relationship with a moth called the sloth moth. And you can see them crawling all over her right now. And these moths spend their entire life on the back of the sloth. Living in the sloth's fur helps the moths avoid predators. What the sloth gains from the relationship, if anything, is a mystery. Oh, take my headlamp. And I think she's ready to go home. I'll put her back in her, in her tree. Okay. All right. Back home. <laughs>